guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you uh, this soft glam look. Um, I guess you could call it a mix of techniques that I've always used when I first learned to do makeup to incorporating different things. I'm using a lot of products that I haven't used in a long time before um, with newer products too and just kind of giving you a little bit of a life update while I do my makeup. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I am gonna start mixing some of the old techniques and bringing back some old products that I haven't used in a while and start using them again. Today's base is gonna be with my favorite for oily skin because Dior Backstage is one of the best mattifying foundations that I have found. So I'm gonna start with my primer. I'm getting low on this. So I'm gonna use about a dot size, but I feel like this primer has lasted a lot. So let's go right in here. You can see my face is oily, so I'm gonna do all the techniques that I need to kind of mattify my face. Another thing that I kind of developed some, I don't know if it's hormonal or adult acne, on this side of my face mainly. This is clearing up. But I notice right where my mask strap goes, I break out there. So I know that's definitely mask me, but this here, not sure what's going on, but I have been using some products, so I'm gonna give an update on that. So I'm gonna go in with um, my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. Oh, Laura Mercier is not available in Italy. I have not looked up to see if I can order it online or not because I have ample. I bought, I like restocked on all my, um, oh, this is the glow one. I, I forgot about this. Um, on a lot of products before I moved here because I wasn't sure like what I can get. I do know that the Sephora here carries a lot of high-end brands only. So like mid-range price points, I don't see a lot of, but there are a lot of like, I don't know if they're European or Italian brands, but I'm not ready to like try out new makeup products per se because one, excuse me, <coughs> I don't know why, okay, <coughs> um, man, <coughs> that powder, maybe I'm allergic all of a sudden, I don't know, um, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Brow Flick. Just kind of fill in. Maybe this is drying out. Oh, it's definitely drying out. So as I was saying, I loaded up on a ton of products before I moved out here and um, just trying to go through those before I start experimenting with new brands. Um, I do miss my Invisible Shield sunscreen, which I ran through this summer. So I'm back to using the uh, Fenty Beauty um, moisturizing sunscreen because I don't like moisturizers with sunscreen that leave white casts and I haven't really found one besides the Fenty Beauty one and then I didn't want to experiment with like a new sunscreen that I've never used before just because I'm dealing with these acne issues going on here so let's see 
to like go through and brush my brows again. some reason I've been really obsessed with doing more of a like liquid brow I'll go in and do my brows again in a minute so let's color correct this is the Pat McGrath concealer this is like my fave it's MD 28 for around my mouth and then under my eye area is MD 26 you can see that but I will link all the products below and I am not using a beauty blender as much I've been using um, brushes a lot lately this is the Pat McGrath um, concealer brush that may suggest that kind of it just blends really pretty good with just this you know I try not to go too heavy under the, the eye because I don't want to create extra creases because I have so many layers that are going to go on top of this. So now I will go in with, I haven't used this in a while, I've been using the Charlotte Tillsbury um, airless, air, uh, airbrush, not airless, um, airbrush um, setting spray. And then I'm going to go in with the Pat McGrath um, foundation brush. I'm going to spray the um, the brush and then I'm gonna make sure this gets blended in and set in all at the same time you can see that's like basically this is why I love Pat McGrath's products it almost feels like it's completely blended like I could just not put foundation on but your girl is so I was gonna go in and remember these cover FX drops but I use the um, Laura Mercier glow setting powder so I don't want to overdo it on the bronze look it's not summertime anymore so I'm gonna go in with my foundation now uh, ooh. wow I go in with a few drops put like six drops on my hand I use 6.5 neutral I haven't opened this one up I grabbed the wrong one so and I actually spritz my hand with some setting spray and then just like dab my brush into it and then kind of you know, I always get my neck because oof I hate when you have just that like separation underneath your jaw and you can't so I like it to feel like it is my skin get in there only thing I hate about doing that is like my necklines on a lot of my shirts are like done for after a few wears when I do it like them but I'd rather have a blended face and then have to dry clean my necklines then to see look at that it's amazing 
right. I basically like used all of that foundation. I think the majority of it is on my jaw lines in here just because I want to cover up all those dark spots. It's so weird getting used to. Like at first, I feel like it was like low key messing with my mind. Like I have ugly skin. I have to wear makeup to cover it up. And I'm so used to like a lot of bare face days. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. But like that's what the curtains are for. Cover the acne up. So now I'm going to go in with the Medium Deep Studio Fix Perfecting Powder by MAC. I think MAC's out here. I need to double check. That I am not sure of. I was like, oof. I'm going to be paying extra to order all my products, but whatever. So I'm just going to... Oh, ColourPop's brushes. I don't know if I mentioned that in any of my other videos because I feel like these are relatively new. For me, I don't know if I filmed any videos with these. Okay. Now that we're all set, the neck. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try to use this. This is actually, um, A chain store it's like Sephora I don't know it's called Douglas I'm using the ultimate concealer in warm sand number 30 as my highlight I have not used this color before so I don't know. I don't know. Another color pop brush. My brushes are dirty. I mean, on the handle. F7. Mm, it's blending pretty nice. I normally use the, um, what is it, the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but I'm like, I know for sure I'm not going to be able to get that out here, so I want to try to find products that I'm going to be able to use here. That's actually not bad. And then I will go in with yeah actually I'm not mad at it um, banana powder <laughs> I don't know I was watching um, Jackie Ina's video with um, Mario and he was like she was like shocked he was still using banana powder and he was like I like it it's just not meant for the whole face the way the world was going crazy with it I don't know what's going on here how do I get this open hmm big enough. Remember this. I'm actually going to go over my pores with that, with a small brush to try to see if I can blur them a bit. Oh, Look at how much I poured out. <laughs> I'm going to have to put that in a small container for travel now. All right. Gosh, I hate when I do that. Or when I dropped. Oh, that's another thing. All the floors are marble in this house. You can't drop anything, like literally nothing. I broke a plastic water bottle on marble floor. I'm like, and it wasn't even that far from the ground. It like literally rolled off my bed and the plastic bottle cracked. I was like, goodness. And the streets are paved with marble. Marble, not marble. I've fallen and slipped several times already, so. Uh, hopefully I don't get injured or twist an ankle. Oh gosh, I'm getting powder all over my, my top. I 
I don't want to bake too heavy down here. So I'm just going to go lightly. contour with my almost gone Fenty Beauty stick. Sometimes I'd contour there, but that's only I'm wearing something strapless and then I use my um, Chanel powder brush to kind of blend in and kind of hold this par part I don't feel like I have more pre precision control here I like how creamy these sticks are just because there's some you can't really blend out with the brush. You have to have a beauty blender. I really don't try to get this side of my forehead because the forehead's really tiny. It's like the center is just like massive. Okay, and then I'll go in with a smaller brush to kind of blend out my um, it's not eyeshadow brush, but it works. I don't know if you guys can hear the church bells. I think it's noon here. The church bells ring at noon and then I think at like 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Some areas, these little towns outside the city, church bells be ringing all the time. You're like, what is going on? Then I'm like, who's ringing these church bells? <laughs> like, is someone paid to do that or is that like a church staff member and I'm like most of these are like tourist attractions are like people actually going to mass or are they just ringing the church bells for the hour I don't know I just I should look that up actually I'm always curious when I hear them go off okay I think my nose is blended enough for the moment Actually, I should just, all right, let's blend this in. I am impressed with this concealer. It worked. It was a blind test purchase. There was no samples for me to know what that color looked like and if it would work, so. Let's just see the wearability and how this lasts all day. Oh. That's good. I'm not going to go in on the cheeks because I'm going to use my trusty mineralized skin finish in deep dark when I blend my skin in to touch that up but I'm gonna do a little highlighter and this is a new one it's seduction face illuminator by Laura Mercier and I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighter brush this one has less of a glittery effect or shimmer, less shimmer, more shine. I don't know what you want to call it. Less sparkle. Just tap my cheekbones. Blend it overkill. And then I'm going to go in with 
little blending brush from my nose. And then I always like to accentuate my, I feel like it makes my lip look a little bigger. Like a more, not bigger, but like more of a palette. I don't know if you can notice. To me, it makes a difference, so that's all that matters. I just feel like it gives me more of a pout. Uh, <laughs> not that I'm kissing anyone. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so what's next? Uh, let me go in with the... I don't know why I announced this and didn't use it, but let's do it now that my highlighter is on. Oh, and I'm using my favorite Hourglass number two. I think this is a foundation brush. Let's go in and see how that like drastically toned down. I feel like sometimes when my parents walk in on like me doing my makeup, they're like, "What?" Like, it's not that serious. Even the way I feel like I do eyeshadows is very unconventional. It looks like it's gonna be a hot mess and it turns out pretty well. Cause I tried several times to do tutorials. I feel like if you're able to blend well, you're good, you're golden. Blend until it looks perfect. And then I like come down on it this way and then up. Oh, it's still a little, I feel like I might have came a little too far down into my, even though it is my natural and it just feels like it makes my cheek look a little, the way the light hits. Oh, this pimple is the death of me, oh my god. See that one, I feel like the sideburn is like a really dark. Let's try to tone that one down. Or maybe I'm just hairier on this side. Hmm. Maybe. It does look a little hairier. Okay. But I like, like it a lot. Um, now I'm going to go over my, um, with my favorite Fenty Mocha Mommy. This makes me feel like I'm getting ready to go out in Miami. I love this name. And this has more of a red undertone, so I kind of don't want to, just want to go really lightly. Not to go too harsh. Just kind of warm it up a bit. I don't want it to look too contoured. Maybe add a little on this side, just so it kind of matches. Oh, and this is the Trish McCoy McAvoy. McAvoy? McAvoy Beauty bronzer um, brush. I've had this for ages. It cleans really well and it doesn't shed. So it's all good. I'm going to go into my nose and just kind of pat around it just so the lines aren't as harsh. So that's good. I like it a lot. Now I'm gonna go back to the brows because I feel like I don't want to like etch just around the brows and do my makeup. I kind of, you can see my skin in my brows. So I feel like the makeup can should kind of melt in to it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt my eyes itching right there. All right, now this is the Urban Decay. It has a liquid in, but I'm gonna go in with the pencil side. Just kinda. Shape the bottom. Mind you, I have not had my brows waxed since I moved here, so that was I got my brows done right before I moved, which was oh, 
my gosh, getting appointments in LA. I wanted to get like laser hair removal. Did I miss my last appointment? Oh, July 11th, no, and I didn't. Man, getting appointments for laser hair removal. I had booked my appointments like back in March through the summer. And then when I was like moving, I'm like, oh wait, I can't do, can't do that date. So I had to go to another laser hair removal um, company because I couldn't get an appointment. Oh, oh my God. I don't know how I, my nails. Okay, these are my natural nail length. These are, I guess you can get like Gel X, which is in LA where you get the gel extended nail, which is way more expensive than getting acrylic. Here, this is 25 euros, you guys. I'm still in shock, still in shock. I would pay with designs on every nail to $110 before tip. This is 25 euros with tip, and that comes out to like what, like 28 US, 28 US dollars, maybe 30 US dollars. I'm like, bro, I get my nails done with design every two weeks. You know, sometimes I'll be like, Faith, you cannot spend that much money on your nails this week. Like, let's chill. Just get a solid color. Solid color, $75. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I just, I'm just still in shock how cheap my nails are. The one thing though, if you want, if you're the kind of gal who loves a spa pedicure, they are non-existent in this region literally non-existent i was in paris and i saw this like nice nail salon i was like "Ooh, <laughs> should i just i already just got my toes done but like should i go just to have the experience and man i wish i had my cosmetology license i was like i would be slaying silk presses out here if i could actually get my silk press to be a true silk press but i do press my hair very well to my liking i just have that kind of like more of a 90s blowout not early 2000s like slick hair so I mean because your homegirl might need to fly to London at some point because I'm like the poofy hair is fun at some cost but this summer it's like it was so humid that like your hair on your neck you'd die like the humidity does not compare to Miami I'm like I feel like I could handle Miami's humidity here it's like why am I outside <laughs> torturing myself? <laughs> okay. Um, I like to go in and just like, let me shake this up a little more. Just like create to give it like this like laminated look, but not laminated because I think their brows look a little too exaggerated for me. So I kind of just like to do like long strokes and then like have it where you can kind of see like it looks like there's like little lines coming up very natural looking brow so I'll go back here And then I try to go in the direction where my hair is actually brushed and grows and try to do it too. And then go in and do like long. I feel like this is the technique that is easy. It's not like crazy over the top. Now this is gonna bother me because it's slightly dark. Just go in and brush all of them actually. Yeah, I don't know. Looks very natural to me. I gotta go in with the brush here or something in my eye. So another um I have the mini of this and this is wonders. I haven't opened this up. The mascara from but I've been using the Vagamore 
grande lash and rapid lash and it works i saw it on tiktok I mean, I'm definitely not as consistent as I was the first three months, but my lashes have maintained a longer look than I've ever had. And when I, oh God, I see how I lash dangling. When I um, didn't use this, my lashes, I, I couldn't even see them above my eyelids. That's how like short they were. I've always had thick lashes, but they just were so short. Now they're longer. So when I, I can, I actually feel comfortable just like going out just wearing mascara. This I was not using on a regular basis. This is like end of my rotation. I was doing grande lash and rapid lash every day for like three months religiously that the consistency was there. I wanted the results and they showed up. So now I just like, when I remember, I, I ran out of rapid lash and then they had like a two for one. My friend recommended this. And uh, I use it sparingly now. But I thought, oh, when you stop using it, my lashes were going to like sh naturally shed and not be as long. And they've kind of maintained this look. I wish they were a little bit longer. But um, I don't know if I'm ready to be that consistent again. So let's see. Okay, the brush is the same. I hate when the minis have a brush that's different than the actual full size that annoys me so much because I'm like I bought it based on the mini and then I get the full size one and I don't like that brush sometimes I'll save mascaras to try um, when they're dried out because I like the brush to try a new mascara with the new brush Another, I don't ever hear anyone talk about, but it's KKW Beauty's mascara. Oh my God, it is literally one of the best mascaras. I don't know why no one talks about it, but we'll see with the new formula if it's just as good because I've seen reviews about the Kylie rebrand and that her like, blushes and things that products that people love they said they're too light or the colors aren't the same anymore so I'm like you know if it works for my skin it works for my skin see and that's just like Technically for me, that's one coat. So I will go in at the bottom lash after I attempt. So this is, uh, oh, are these, this is, I didn't realize these are Anastasia Beverly Hills lashes. I'm like, who's this by? It's ABH Nirvana collection. I think that's Anastasia. Yeah, it says in the packaging it's kind of I've never tried their lashes before um, let's see what the style is oh oh my oh my the length is too long so I'm just gonna cut them into threes and then try to apply Ooh, okay and I'm gonna use the duo um, lash glue because I haven't found anything better and I always use black. So let's try this. I am very afraid. Okay, this is the right lash. <laughs> like all up in the nostril, okay. I feel like I need to like actually hold my lid up because homegirl does not know what she's doing Wait, now I feel like something's in my eye I'm scared okay oh wow 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 that was actually really easy after I got over my fears okay But like, this is from 
I'm still impressed with my natural lashes anyways. It was like the first time I put on lashes. Actually, it's a lot better than I can't compare. The first time I put on lashes was disastrous. But it does give you a more natural look with my eyelash curler. I don't know where I ordered this from, so I'm gonna have to find the... piece here is like, there we go. Curled that, wow. Okay, I'm not gonna show the other um, eyelash because it's pointless. I did it, it was definitely not easy, but I think depending on how they last, I will do it again because they do look a lot more natural. I feel like one of these I might have put a little low because I feel like it's, it's like heavy actually. Let me go in and curl it. Oh, that's all I need to do actually. Yeah, that was it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my, and use the mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so now let's do these lips. So another, I got these when I did the KKW body shoot. This one, I don't, really re I don't even remember what product, I like literally just was like, give me the whole line. There's that color. I have another one, but I didn't grab it. And then there's this color. I think these are creamy mattes, actually. Let me, this is nude four. And then again, I don't, these aren't available anymore. So her new formula might not be as great. And this is 90s icon. Maybe let's go with 90s icon because I feel like maybe it's 90s. Oh, and I actually, eyeliner okay, I'm always never know what I don't know why I don't pay attention but I never know what's gonna come out of the uh, like I just want to do the inner here I don't like really doing the outer can't go in with my right arm the top inner and then the bottom that was Anastasia Beverly Hills and then my holy grail is smolder or yeah smolder Mac and then I only do my waterline I feel like I remember when I first started make, doing makeup you only I I don't know if you only but like I would only do here And I wonder why I feel like oh I feel like it gives me more it like really defines like my almond shaped eyes so actually I'm gonna stick with my old school way not go all the way in I put a little highlighter in my corner eye why not I think I went a little further match it there we go I like it so now that I did that let me find my highlighter and go in tiny tiny brush smudge brush from Sigma Beauty E21 Like this one's not sticking here. Okay, there we go. All right. 
Um, now let's line my lips. I'm going to use Mac Chestnut because I'm going with more of a, and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use nine, 90s Icon. I think, yeah, it like looks, there we go. Oh, I feel like that's too peach. I always kind of go a little bit lower than and then go in. You know in Italy they don't call these beauty marks. These are like stains. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I like that translation. <laughs> oh, you have a stain on your face. People used to think that was a stain on my lip. I'm like, Beauty Mart just sounds prettier. That's gonna bother me. Okay. Okay. Which one's 90s icon? These look so similar. Okay. 90s icon. So out of these three, let me mark it. I don't know if I want to commit to a color. So I think this might be the winner. This is the, are they all Rogue Cocoa Gloss? Okay, it's Rogue Cocoa Gloss and um, color 724. I wonder why they're all numbers. So this is my look. Let me spritz. <laughs> Wake us, us up. And then I used to just like let it dry and then sometimes it just like leave little wet dots. So this is the finished look. I am absolutely loving my makeup today. Um, I said I was going to go in with the Urban Decay and kind of like hit my pores, but Okay, but I feel like my pores are pretty mattified. Yeah, I mean, I could touch it, but I feel like I shouldn't. But yeah, I really love this makeup look and I hope you guys like it. I will definitely be updating my skincare routine, talking about the acne and what products I've been using to kind of combat it. I'm not sure if it's adult acne that I've just developed or if it's hormonal acne. Anyways, these pimples are the death of me. So thank you guys for watching today. Um, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.